Good afternoon, afternoon East High Slip. I am Chris Tall. And I am Sean Smith. It's been an exciting week of EI Sports. Let's see what's been going on. East High Slip High School athlete Jack Milligan, a member of the Connecticut East High Slip combined boys varsity swim team, competed in four events at the Suffolk County Swimming Championships held on February 12th at Stony Brook University. He qualified for the New York State Championships in the 200 meter and the 400 meter freestyle relays, and his team placed second in the county. Milligan will represent East Islip on March 3rd through March 5th at the state tournament in Ithaca, New York. Five members of East Islip's high school 2021 county champions football team were recently recognized with all state honors. Derek Burrell, also named co-New York State Player of the Year, Leo Lopez and Kevin Smith were named to the first team, Sebastian Regis was named to the third team, and Carson Tessitore was named to the fourth team. East Islip High School Stater Vanessa Rosa won a gold and bronze medal at the Empire State Winter Games held February 3rd through February 6th in Lake Placid, New York. The ESWG is the largest multi-sport amateur athletic winter sporting event in North America. Rosa competed in figure skating in the pre-juvenile girls excel level winning first place and in synchronized skating in the open juvenile level for team ranks in which her team placed third. Congrats Vanessa! On February 25th and 26th, East Islip's Sebastian Regis competed in the New York State Wrestling Championships in upstate New York. As a sophomore, he competed and took the state by shock, having a Cinderella story coming into the tournament as the 13th seed, and he went 4-1 and one and lost in the state championships. At the tournament, we had WFTK representatives and fellow team members Jason Vetrano and James Sturrock. And let's go to them with the breakdown now. Congratulations to Sebastian Regis on going 29 and one this season with 24 pins, a league champion, a Suffolk County champion, and most of all, a New York State finalist as a sophomore. Keep the good work up. Live on the scene, we were there at the state tournament, me and my boy Jason Matrano coming to watch Sebastian here. Coming in, he was the 13th seed, made it all the way to finals, and we're here to show you the journey. Sebastian, here he is in his first match of the state tournament, a little bit nervous in the third period, just mauls the guy, gets on top of him, goes on to win this match by points, just, just purely just beat this kid up, should not have had, should have had a first round bye, honestly. In the quarterfinals, Sebastian here has a tight match. He gets up, he gets an escape one, as you see he breaks the grip, turns in, here he is, now heavy hands, you see Right here, he's wrestling a big upstate boy from section six, and he gets hit with these heavy paws, and then all of a sudden, a blast double to the mat. Sebastian is in trouble, he's on his back. You see him working that leg in, but he, he does not get his hips down. Sebastian takes advantage of that, uses his strength, gets up, and you don't see that every day at 285. He gets in, scoops the head, runs that half, posts out, hip on hip, and even a nice, get that leg around, chest on chest. See it there. There it is, back points, give me the pin. Sebastian advances to the semifinals. Sebastian here in the semifinals is wrestling the number one seed. Boom, all of a sudden, since earlier in the match, the number one seed was hit with a stalling call. And that's the first you get a warning. Second time, you get points. Now he's forced to take a terrible shot. Sebastian takes advantage of it. He does it again once they circle back. You see him working those hooks. Not a good idea with Sebastian especially if you're gonna wind up taking a bad shot or getting worked out of bounds. Here they go, pushing out of bounds. He's gonna get hit with probably another stalling call if he doesn't stop. Sebastian's taking advantage of that and moving his feet. They go back to the circle, get right back to it, boom, there's the bad shot. Sebastian takes advantage of it, gets the two points, and is now advancing to the New York State Finals. Sebastian Regis here in the state finals as a sophomore, gets on top in double OT, the ultimate ride out. All he has to do is keep him down and Tibbetts Sadly, hits a great Granby roll late to get on top of Sebastian. And there he goes, he takes the lead, 3-2 with the reversal. And he runs that half. Might get a swipe, might not. Sebastian here is in trouble. Not looking like himself. But overall, gave us a great run. And we are truly proud, and the whole community of East Islip is rooting for you to go on and do better and great things as we move on to our interview with Sebastian coming up. Two. Hi, I'm here with Sebastian Regis, a sophomore who took East Islip by storm and made it to the state finals this year. How are you today, Sebastian? I'm doing good. It's good to hear. We're going to have some serious questions for you. 
Got it. Question number one. This year, you made it to the state finals as a 13th seed. That whole journey, being in states, being a state finalist as a sophomore, how did that, how did that make you feel? How did that how did that motivate you? I was pretty excited. It wasn't great that I lost at the end, but it's a good experience. Not a lot of people get to have that experience. Now, going into next season, being a state finalist, being the county champ, is that a lot of pressure? How do you go on? How do you build off of this season? What are your expectations for next year? Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on me next season to do good, but I just really don't think about that and think about one match at a time. It's a good way to look at it. Sebastian, we saw in your state finals match you came out in the East High Slope standard red home singlet. We also see in the county finals you were the finalist singlet, in the league finals you were the finalist singlet, you were in the section 11 singlet, which we all know is a major honor to wear. How did it feel wearing the section 11 singlet, and why did you go with the red singlet in the state finals match? The section 11 singlet felt great to wear. Uh, I wore the red singlet in the finals because that was my most common singlet that year, and I felt like if I was going to win it, I was going to win it in that. Good to hear. Sebastian, when you were up at Albany, you got to represent Section 11 and wore a different singlet. What was that like? What type of honor was that? It was a great honor. Uh, I made some friends up there that I never thought I'd make, and for some people to come up to Albany to watch me, it shows the pride that we have in our community. Now, our final question. We know this year you just fell one match short of the perfect season. Next year, do you look forward to having that as a goal? Yeah, that'll be one of my goals, and that and being a state champ. All right, well, good luck to you next year, Sebastian, and thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all for this week, East Islip. Remember to like and subscribe, and turn on that bell to stay up to date with all of our East Islip sports news. Also, follow us on Instagram at WFTK underscore studios. EI Pride Forever! forever.